Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to add the MySQL jar file to a Java project created with NetBeans 12.3. So NetBeans allows you to choose one of three building tools when you create your Java project. So let's try to create a new Java project. And here as you can see you can choose either Maven or Gradle or Ant to build your Java project. So I have already prepared three projects using these three building tools and these three projects contain the same source code which require the MySQL jar file. Now the next step is to download the jar file from the website of MySQL. So let's go to the navigator and let's type the following words. MySQL connector Java. Then we have to go to this first link. And now for the operating system we have to select platform and dependent because we need to download the jar file. And here we can choose either the first jar file or the second one. I will select the second one which is a zip file. In this window, I don't like to log in, so I will just click on no thanks. And now I can download this file. But in my case, I have already downloaded this file, so I will cancel the download and I will use the zip file that I have already downloaded, which is this one. So let's open it. And here I have this jar files, so I will extract it and I will put it on the desktop. Now let's close the zip file and let's go back to NetBeans. So let's start with the Ant project. So in the Ant project I have a main class called main Ant class. So it tries to connect to the database using the username and the password and then it tries to insert a new user into the, the database. So let's run this file. And as you can see, I have this exception because I did not include the uh, jar file. So to correct this, I will go to libraries, then I will make right click, then add jar. And then I have to select the jar file that I have downloaded, then open. And now let's run this class again. And this time there is no exception and I am able to insert a new row into the database. Now let's go to the second project which is created with Gradle. So this project contains one single class called the main Gradle class which tries to connect to the database using this username and this password. It also tries to insert one single line into the database. So let's run this file. And as you can see, I have this exception because I did not add the jar file to this project. So to fix this, I have two options. In fact, Gradle allows me to uh, download the jar file from the, the, from the Maven repository. So all what I have to do is to provide the good name to Gradle and Gradle will download the jar file from the uh, Maven repository. So, to allow Gradle to download the jar file from the Maven repository, I have to go to the Maven repository. So, I have to type Maven repository. And here I can go either to, the, to this first link or to this second link. So, I prefer the second link. And then I have to look for the jar file that I want to add. So to find the jar file, I have to provide the artifact ID. And the artifact ID 
is the file name without the version. So the artifact ID of this jar file is this part because it does not include the version. So I make a copy of this. Then I go to the Maven repository and I paste this. So this is the jar file I want. I open it and there are multiple versions. So I want to add the latest version. And here I see that for Gradle, I have to add this line into the configuration file of Gradle. So I will make a copy of this. Then I will go back to NetBeans. Then I will go to build scripts. Then to build the Gradle. Then into dependencies, I have to add the new line that I have copied. And then I have to save this file. Now, Gradle will download this file from uh, the Maven repository. And now let's try to run this class again. So let's try to run this class. This time, as you can see, uh, the row has been added to the database and I don't have any error anymore because Gradle was able to download the jar file from the central, from the Maven repository. But suppose that you don't have any connection, but you have the jar file. In this case, you cannot ask Gradle to download the jar file, but you can ask Gradle uh, to use the jar file that you have on your computer using the following line. So this line asks Gradle to use all the jar files that are available in the lib folder of the project. So let's go to the project and let's create this lib folder. So I will create the lib folder and into this folder I will just make a copy of the jar file that I have downloaded which is this one. Also I will make a copy of the jar file name And instead of asking Gradle to, to include all the jar files, I will just ask him, I will just ask it to include the required jar file. Then let's save this. Then let's go back to this class and let's run it again. As you can see, uh, there is no exception and the execution is done correctly. Now let's go to the third project which is created with Maven. So this project contains a single Java class which allows us to connect to the database using this username and this password and also it adds a single row into the database. So let's run this file. And as you can see, I have this exception because I did not add the jar file. So with Maven, I have two options to add the jar file. Either to ask Maven to download it from the remote repository, from the Maven repository, or I can install it from a local jar file that I have on my computer. So to uh, be able to ask Maven to download the jar file, it is necessary to find the required inf information of the jar file on the Maven repository. So we have to find the Maven repository. Uh, we, have, we can go either to this first link or to this second link. I prefer the second link, so I opened it. Then to find the jar file, I have to provide the artifact ID and the artifact ID is the jar file name without the version. So this is the artifact ID. I make a copy of it. 
then I go to the Maven repository and I paste, I paste it and this is the jar file I want so I select it and here I have different option, uh, different versions so I will select the uh, latest version and here I find the required information that I have to provide to Maven so let's go back to NetBeans and here for this Maven project I have to make a right click on dependencies then add dependency and in this window I have to provide the group ID which is the owner of the jar file so this is the group ID then the artifact ID which is the file name without the version so this is the artifact ID And finally, I have to provide the version of the jar file, which is this value. Now let's click on add. So Maven will download the jar file from the Maven repository. So let's run this file. As you can see, I executed this Java class correctly and a new row has been added to the database. Now, let's suppose that you don't have any connection and only uh, you have the jar file. In this case, you cannot ask Maven to download the jar file because you don't have any connection. So when Maven adds this file, you have to make a right click on this file and then you have to say manually install artifact then you have to provide the file the jar file by clicking on browse and by going to the location where you have the jar file and then you have to select this jar file then select then you have to click on install locally so maven will use the jar file that you provided inst instead of downloading it now, if you make a right click, then you click on run file, you will be able to execute this class correctly using the jar file that you have included from your computer. So this is the output, which means that I executed this class correctly. Finally, I hope that this video was useful for you. Please subscribe to the channel.